just stick around in my pocket at all times, huh? You know, you can live in my hair. <laughs> Kittens, they're adorable, soft, and often won't give me the time of day, which only makes me love them that much more. So what exactly is this cuteness overload doing to my brain? I'm Shannon and I'm a neuroscience PhD candidate. And this is your brain on kittens. Ah. Hey, come here a little bit. Domestic cats, or Phyllis sylvestris cactus, if you fancy, are thought to have domesticated themselves thousands of years ago in the Near East. That's right domesticated themselves. Early cats discovered that being around humans enhanced their own survival, so they changed their own behavior to coexist with people. Now cats are the second most popular pet in the US, leaving dogs in their dust and only to be outshined by their true enemy, the freshwater fish. But you'll get those guys next time, right? Come on, fish can't do this. Don't let ranking systems get to your head, okay? It's not a competition. You're number one in my heart, okay? So why exactly am I being overtaken by the urge to put this kitten in my pocket and keep it with me at all times? Well, our inexplicable drive to take care of kittens may be due to its baby schema, or the fact that kittens have big eyes and round faces, characteristics which upon seeing, unconsciously switch our brains into caregiving mode. Much like the episode we did on puppies, viewing the faces of... <laughs> Viewing faces of kittens with high baby schema is enough to subconsciously trick a human into thinking they're interacting with a human baby. Adults show heightened activation in the tension and motion areas of the brain, reflecting readiness to interact with these cuties. Further, seeing these cute faces activate the nucleus accumbens, a key area involved in anticipation of reward, or the ooh, 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 can I have it, please, can I have it, area of the brain. So, yes. I think I will take one of these, and one of these. Oh, oh, come on, come back. And one of these. I think you guys need to just stick around in my pocket at all times, huh? Okay, yes, I wanna take care of these cats. But beyond that, why do I love them so much? Well, this may have to do with the neurotransmitter oxytocin. Also known as the love hormone, it's produced in the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus, and is a crucial player in social bonding, trust, and attachment. One study found a correlation in human increases in oxytocin after playing with cats, suggesting that dangling that string in front of your cat is actually bringing you two closer. <laughs> or dangling your hair, it also works. <laughs> as a woman, I may be especially susceptible to this bond, as one study found that the relationship between women and their cats is uniquely dynamic and complex. Right guys? By viewing videos of cats and their owners interacting, researchers found that women owners strongly influence their cat's behavior, and vice versa. And these pairs would respond to more subtle cues than male owners and their cats. Yeah, subtle cues, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This study also revealed that cats seem to interact more with female owners, jumping on their laps and approaching them more often. So, am I a cat lady? Yes. But I guess I can blame it on the science. Look at them. Sleeping. <laughs> oh, they're both furry. Can you hear it? Hey, you guys talking to me? Science shows that humans may be able to carefully understand the subtleties in their cat's purr. When cats want food, scientists find that their purr includes a high-pitched voice component, which is reminiscent of a human baby cry. Likewise, humans are especially in tune to that sound, registering the sound as urgent, even if the subject had never owned cats, suggesting that humans can unconsciously identify distress purring from a non-distress purring. You guys aren't distressed right now, right? No, they're okay. Let me hear. You're hungry? What's that? Oh, you want a big freshwater fish for dinner? <laughs> you bad. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. Cats can be cool as ice, and sometimes they act like they don't care one lick about people. So what exactly is your cat's brain on us? Do cats actually like us? 
Well, one lab aimed to look at just that. In the study, cats were presented with four choices, a toy, food, an interesting smell, and a human, in order to see what cats liked best. And in the end, humans were the winners. When given the choice between shelter, the pet cats spent most of the time playing and bonding with the humans. So thanks, cats. I think you're pretty cool, too. I think you two are cool, too. I think they love to play. Okay, and now to settle the eternal debate, cats versus dog, which is better? Just kidding. I mean, why does it have to be a competition? If animal compilation videos of dogs and cats hanging out together have taught me anything, it's that the cat versus dog competition is all in the human owner brains, okay? So why not just enjoy the company of both? Unleash the dogs! We don't have them. Well, never mind. I think I'm good anyway. I'll take you home, and I'll take you home. The summer is kitten season, a time of year when shelters are flooded with homeless and newborn kittens. Kittens like this one are among the most vulnerable animal populations in the country. Hmm. You can make a difference by fostering kittens from your local shelter. Visit ASPCA.org slash meow for now for more information. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos. Right? You guys gonna subscribe? I gotta get you to a YouTube account. I mean, you guys would watch this, right? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Scientists believe that dogs as we know them first appeared about 15,000 years ago. So what exactly is happening in my brain as I spend an afternoon with man's best friend? I'm Shannon O'Dell, and I'm a neuroscience PhD student, and this is your brain on puppies. <laughs>
as studies have found that dogs are able to discriminate between happy and angry human faces. And doggy stress levels go up upon hearing human babies crying. It appears that dogs like us and feel for us. In conclusion, the research shows that spending time with dogs has a lot of benefits. I personally couldn't agree more. Thank you to the New York Bully Crew in Long Island for letting me spend the day with these adorable guys. All the dogs in this video are looking for a good home. So consider the benefits and look into adopting one of these very, very good boys. Yes, you're a very good boy. Yes, you're very good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the page for more videos like this one.